This video explains how to build an explorer for your business users. An explorer is the starting point for queries, is based on a view, and shows a specified set of fields from the view. Additional views can be joined into the explorer. Before jumping into the details, it's important to note that not all views are explorers, because not all views describe an entity of interest. For example, a states view that corresponds to a lookup table for states' names doesn't warrant an explorer because business users never need to query it directly. On the other hand, business users probably want a way to query an orders view, so defining an explorer for orders makes sense. Explorers are usually defined within a model file, but can also be defined in a separate explore file. In your LookML model file, you see your only explore order items here. This explore was automatically generated based on the order items view you brought in when you created your project. You can join additional views to this explore. When a user creates a query that includes fields from multiple joined views, Looker automatically generates SQL join logic to bring in all fields correctly. Start by adding the tables you want to join to your project. You'll add them as view files. In the file browser, click on the menu of the folder where you want to create your view, and then click Create View from Table. You could create a view from scratch, but if you have an existing database table, this is the recommended method. Choose your database connection. Let's say you want to join information about inventory items and products. Click the checkboxes next to those tables, then scroll to the bottom and click Create Views. Looker shows all files in your project and confirms that your two new views have been created from the tables. Let's click the products view to go back to your data model. The editor marks new or changed files with a dot, as you can see here. Each of your newly generated views has fields for all the columns in the underlying database table, plus a count field. So now you have three separate views, but only one explore. To enable your users to query data from all three of these tables at once, you need to join the views together in your model. The first step is to make sure you are telling Looker to include your newly created view files. To do this, you need to write an include statement that uses the file extension .view for view files. You can leave out the .lkml part of the file extension. Looker recommends that you include just the view files you want to join to the explorer. If you include all the view files, it adds clutter and can slow things down. The light gray commented out code exists as an example. You could use this as a starting point, but in this case, write your views from scratch. Inside the order items explores definition, add a join for the inventory table. Notice how the lookml editor helps with suggestions as you type. Let's take a high level look at the code you just wrote. You've joined the inventory items view to the order items explores view. You're using a left outer join, which means you're including all the qualifying rows in your order items view and any matching rows in the inventory items view. Both views include an ID for the inventory item, so you've joined on those fields. Since there could be many orders that include a particular type of item, but that type of item only has one row in the inventory items view, you can conclude that the views have a many to one relationship. Add another join for your products table. Now your new view files are joined to the order items explore. Next, save and validate so you can test and make sure everything is working properly. Click the explore tab and find your explore. You can find your two new views in the order items explore. And when you expand inventory items in the field picker, you see your auto generated fields. Looking at your products view as well, it looks like everything is appearing as it should. Once you push this to production, your users can select fields from all three of these views to create their queries. In the SQL query that Looker writes, only the joins needed to return correct data will be included. Thanks for watching. This video explained how to build an explorer by joining multiple views.